Right then guys, Jaguar XJC, unusual bit of kit. Let's have a look. Now I'll lean in and give her a little bit. There's a list on the window, which we'll come to in a minute. And this car, there's a list there, um, adding up to nearly 20,000 pounds worth of expense. 20,000 pounds. So we'll start in the engine bay as we often do. Get 20,000 pounds worth of expense. I don't know how some people can write these invoices out, if I'm honest. Right, so that's the engine room. I need, to, I need to be a bit firm with these. I don't like being too firm, but you do need to, the best way to shut these bonnets is shut them from the front and shut them back down. Don't like, don't like slamming anything, do you? I'll leave it like that until I've got two hands. I'll leave it at that. Right, before I forget, let's have a quick look at that um, uh, list that I mentioned. So there we go, look, we've got, uh, this is since 2018. Supply and fit new brake system, cooling system, suspension rebuild, fuel pipes replaced, fuel pump replaced, all brake pipes replaced, subframe front and rear refurb. Then we've got, that was 4,000, nearly 200 quid. Strip out the car, weld in some floor sections, repair body, shell, full repaint, nearly six. In fact, it was more than six, it was seven with that. And sorry, that was five with that. And in 2020, we've got an engine rebuild, automatic transmission rebuild, and a rear axle refurb to the tune of 7,000, nearly 8,000 quid. Beggar's belief, isn't it? So we'll continue on around the car. So we've got some door cards. Go in the. Oh, well, I might as well look in the boot while we're here. The cover there just wants fixing back up again. I did photograph that. Not a lot to report in the boot. There never is, is there really? There you are. Just just bear within the boot there. You can't really see a great deal. It's all boarded over. So that's that in the boot. And then the rest of the inside. Turn it off a minute, if I may. Give myself think a bit as well. And then we'll have a little look around the outside. Screens, the usual areas there where they tend to go on the XJs. There's a story behind just most of these models in here and I remember my father running a, a brown one of these when I was a kid. I was only be about seven, eight, nine perhaps. And he ran a lovely brown one, coupe. He brought it in, fell in love with it and ran it for quite a while. Certainly for him, he would normally change his car like he changed his underwear. So yeah, for him it, um, it lasted quite a while. A year or two, I believe, from memory. So yeah, fond memories of XJ Coupes. 
Well, hopefully, guys, that's given you a bit of a bit of a feel for what we've got. There's about 75 photographs there. So there's plenty of photographs and obviously this five minute video. Um, the next step is to come down and have a look for yourself. If you fancy a sea, there's not many on the market, is there? Quite a rare beast in many respects. Just come down, have a look, go through it, see what you think and go from there. I'll see you when you come down.